gold information you will not find elsewhere. Over the past decade, the value of gold continues to be increasing. You can purchase or sell gold easily if you are looking at investing in this precious metal. The subsequent paragraphs are packed with ideas you can use to deal wisely in gold. It is essential to investigate the current value of gold before selling your gold. You should sort your gold according to its carat value before weighing and assessing the need for each item. Steer clear of selling high-end jewelry pieces mainly because they get more value. Examine the current price in the gold market prior to deciding to sell your jewelry. It will help you discern whether you're on offer a great price or not. Lots of dealers provide you with market value, but there are some that will just assume you won't quit cash and may make a deal that is the best for them. If the reason for purchasing gold is perfect for your retirement fund, it's vital to get the appropriate kind. Your gold has to be IRS approved. That means that the gold is a minimum of 24 carats, and formed as coins or bullion bars. You need to be more inclined to buy gold bars, which hold greater value than coins. In order to start buying gold but don't have much money to start, take into consideration buying scrap. This can be achieved bit by bit. For example, you might invest a little each payday to amass a remarkable variety of gold after a while. Find a secure area for your stash until there's enough for you to cash it in. If you don't want to worry about storing, shipping and insuring your gold, consider buying gold money instead. Consider it as a checking account that deals exclusively in gold. With this particular service the amount of money in your account is transformed into gold. Whilst the gold itself physically remains in a bank vault, it is possible to take care of it as you see fit. Gold quite a bit of fun to purchase, but stay away from announcing it to everyone. You don't know who to trust or who may be listening. Keep the investment private and secured, preferably within a safe. This keeps the gold and you also safe under various circumstances. Be careful before participating in the gold market. There are several scammers in the gold market. Many people claiming to tell the truth gold buyers really just want to trick you. Because of this, you should be extra cautious and research. If you're in a gold party you need to speak to a person in control so you can determine what carrots are in the jewelry. Generally, the product is just stamped. In other cases, there is absolutely no method of knowing. An acid test could be a very simple way of accomplishing this, so know about that. Make sure to determine what everything in your sales contract says. If you are intending to sell gold pieces to your mail-in buyer, look at the fine print before selling directly to them. There will be some fees and commissions to think about, so you don't would like them to get too steep. In many cases, earring backing or solid gold the total piece will not be. Additionally, necklace clasps or ring bands could be gold, too. Try and sell them as part of a lot since singularly they are not very heavy. This is certainly various gold pieces in a single quantity also it can enable you to make better money. The gold market involves a number of areas that you could spend money on. You have the capability to invest in mining stocks or exchange traded funds that have an emphasis on gold. If you opt to buy physical bars or coins, be sure you consider how much it costs to store the gold securely. Gold should be separated by carat weight before sale. Weighing the products separately ensures you have the true value it's worth, however some sellers won't do this. That always means less cash for you personally. Separate your items by carat in advance to avoid being tricked. If you wish to be considered a good gold investor, find out how you may test the grade. The purity of gold is measured by carat. Higher carats mean more value. Don't depend upon the carat stand. Learning how to verify the carat of gold will help you keep from overpaying for bad quality gold. Don't unload your gold with an internet buyer without taking a careful check out the current prices. Sometimes you could find a better deal at tradition places that buy gold, like local shops or jewelry stores. It may be much easier to mail it in, but is that simplicity worth quitting a return in the hundreds? Making an investment in gold in the long term is a good strategy. Don't only purchase gold if the pricing is high. Actually, that is not time to purchase anything as an investment. If you want to go into gold by purchasing at regular intervals, you'll get a better average price and it makes a better investment. You don't have to have a great deal of money up front as a way to start investing in gold. 
you don't need to think too big at the beginning. When you can actually spend the additional money, pick up small coins and jewelry. Eventually you will possess accumulated enough gold to get worth a considerable amount. Before selling your gold, discover value of gold in the marketplace. If you try to sell gold, dealers are normally aware that it must be since you need quick cash. This drives their offers down. Goldprice.org enables you to see exactly what the going rate for gold is. Whenever you mail your gold pieces to your buyer, build a list with details about each item. Include that list using the mail. Have at least two copies of your own packing slip available. Send the other in addition to the items and do not lose an eye on your copy. Since you now have go through this informative article, tips for selling, trading or buying gold should be bouncing through your head. Research your options and devote some time on creating decisions and you will do fine. Now you are willing to begin making some funds from gold. GVMG, Global Viral Marketing Group Thank you for watching to the end. One time secret offer. Free web marketing tools giveaway and more. For more details, please click the URL below.